I heard a crack. No, you got to be kidding me. And all of my pillows and things. And remove that backing and apply them to the wall. And that's the plan. Hey, pumpkin. In today's video, I am sharing with you my bedroom makeover. I'm so excited to be sharing this makeover with you because I love it. If you don't remember, I, for the year, planned to make over my bedroom. I had planned on getting a new bed frame, a new mattress, and a new nightstand, and I did a little bit more than that. <laughs> well, I'm gonna show it to you, and I'm gonna detail what I picked up, um, how much things cost as best I can, because I, I, did, I did go further than a few things, if you know what I'm saying. You'll know in just a moment. Also, let me just go ahead and give you this, this disclaimer that I, I dusted and I cleaned, uh, but there's sort of no use for that now. You'll know and understand what I mean by the end of the video. So if you see something out of place, bear with me. I wanted to record this video before I started moving things around. Uh, so yes, without further ado, my bedroom. a quick glimpse um don't mind the carpet y'all know how that can be sometimes yes so look as i run into things <laughs> here is my bedroom and let me go through some of the details with you i know you want to know how this all came to be so let's get settled wow we are here i can't even tell you just how much i love my room so i'm going to share the details with you if you remember, I used to have a bed that was like a black and brown. It was essentially a headboard and foot rails. And um, it was a good bed, but I wanted to brighten it up in the space. And so I decided to go the polar opposite and get a white bed. But I wanted it to be like a grown up white. You know, I didn't want it to be a kitty white. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't want some like full on white panel bed but I wanted something that brought in some earthy tones. So I looked for something, it's what I called birch at the time. So I just went and looked for a white birch headboard in Google. And I saw a picture and I took a screenshot of that picture. Uh, but when I saw the price, I was just like, mm, let, let me circle back around to you. But I just couldn't get it out of my head. Y'all know how that is. It was like the perfect look. It was the one I wanted. So I was just like, okay, but I was gonna circle back because I need to do some little comparison shopping and some bargain shopping first. But essentially, I came right back around to that bed. I first saw it on, or this bed, I first saw it on Birch Lane, um, but I came up with the idea, well, maybe someone else sells the bed. So I went and grabbed the name of the bed and took that out to Google and found uh, several different places that sold it. And Hayneedle.com was one of those places. They had a discount and so I purchased it through Hay Needle. Now they had the bed, uh, you know, the bed frame and boards and all that stuff, the entire bed, but they didn't have the nightstand. Well, the nightstand was on wait list. So I decided to go ahead and get the bed from hayneedle.com and I was gonna get the nightstand from somewhere else. So I ordered it and within a week or so, uh, in two large boxes, uh, pretty pretty heavy boxes, but not too heavy for me to drag into the house. My bed came and I started putting it together. I put it together with some help and I was trying to decide if I wanted to keep my box spring with it. It's like a platform bed, so I don't necessarily need my box spring. But you know, for the extra bit of height, I wanted to see if a box spring would work with the bed. With my box spring, the box spring I already had, it would end up being too tall, so I knew that I wasn't gonna use that one. When I got it all put together, I was so relieved to have it done. It looked amazing, smelled amazing. It turned out to be so beautiful, and so I just pulled my bare mattress onto it, and then I just sat on the bed, went to lay out, I mean, laid out like a starfish. Now, I didn't jump on the bed. I didn't hop on the bed nothing but when i laid out on the bed like a starfish like i said crack say what now i heard a crack 
I thought, no, no, you got to be kidding me. Jumped off the bed, <laughs> looked underneath, and one of the slats underneath had cracked. One lay, y'all, just one lay. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. So that night I pulled my mattress onto the floor and resolved to call Hay Needle in the morning to figure out what I needed to do with this bed and this slat that cracked with one lay. Mm. The next day I called Hay Needle, like almost first thing in the morning, <laughs> called them. They gave me the option of working with the manufacturer or going through them. I said, give me that manufacturer's number because you know, I need to go directly to the source so I can get this finished and complete. I'm sleeping on the floor, well on a mattress on the floor. So I got in touch with the manufacturer, sent them the pictures I had taken and they said they would be sending out new slats and I would receive them in like a week or so. Along the way, I'm gonna give you the cost of things just in case uh, you wanna pick something up for yourself or you just wanna know, you just being nosy. You just wanna know, I said I was gonna give it to you anyway. But before my discount, these are the prices. Uh, the bed was $500.64 on hayneedle.com, love it. Tax came to $36.30. And so before the discount was $536.94. But again, I told you um, to sign up for Hay Noodle, you can get 10% off. So that brought the bed down to $450.58. And so with tax and everything, uh, the bed came to $483.25. That's the bed alone and I mean, you already know I love it. So I guess I don't have to say that again. Now on to my nightstand. So I told you earlier that I purchased my nightstand separately from my bed. I purchased my nightstand from homedepot.com. When I signed up for homedepot.com, they gave me 10% off my purchase. You know, I'm for the savings. So I purchased it from them. The nightstand actually came before my bed came. But when it did arrive, I had a little help. And by a little help, I mean I was pet sitting at the time and I was pet sitting my part-time bosses, like precious pup, Ziggy. Oh, and by little, I mean the little Ziggy. And by little, I mean little help. But it was precious to have little Ziggy hanging out with me. And so I opened these boxes and the smell the smell of the pine, oh, it was just so lovely. It just smelled so fragrant in here. I love the smell of the pine. Now it has worn off in all these months, but sometimes I'll open the drawers of this nightstand and smell that pine and oh, I just love it. It smells so, so good. It just sends me. Now this one was pretty easy to put together, but all along I wasn't a huge fan of these accessories on either the bed or the nightstand. I just I'm not feeling that steel look. Uh, so I was really ecstatic that whenever I put this together uh, and I was moving it around that three of the four steel feet on this came off and underneath was the solid wood and I loved it, it's perfect. I'd already planned to spray paint or paint the handles. So the feet coming off was just, I loved it. I was, it was perfect. And so, you know, right away I had decided what I wanted my color scheme to be. So I had already had like this rust or clay burgundy in here already. I knew that that would go with the white and then like the, uh, the wooden tones from the bed would bring out like this golden, uh, you know, woodsy color. So I wanted to incorporate all that. So my color scheme was more so like a rust or clay, uh, burgundy, white, beige, gold <laughs> so those steel feet just did not go as well though i was trying not to be hard pressed just in case they didn't come off the bed which ultimately they did not come off of the bed themselves but i was really ecstatic to know that they came off of the nightstand so i put together the nightstand i love it <laughs> I used to just have my jewelry on the top of my nightstand uh, in this organizer, but I decided to put that organizer in the first drawer. I'm glad it fit because it keeps my nightstand, the top of it, nice and clean. I really love that look. So as I was surveying my finished product, I looked on the back corner and I saw that there is a gap in the back corner. I ended up calling Home Depot they said that I could either send the unit back, which I was like, oh, or they would give me a $30 discount. And I thought a $30, this $30 for this little gap. 
go ahead and run me the discount. Thank you very much. Um, because it was in a corner, you probably won't ever see. Uh, I didn't want to send it back, so I was really happy that I was able to keep it uh, all put together, but I was able to get an additional discount. And since we're talking cash, let's see what the numbers came out to be. So with that 10% off discount, the total came to $183.87, with the taxes came to $197.20 with a refund of $32.18, they gave me tax on the discount. <laughs> it came to $165.02. $165.02 for my nightstand. So remember, my bed is broken. But the next day, I had planned on getting my mattress, picking up my mattress. So, on to the mattress. So the mattress that I had before, I had picked up from Sam's Club around like tax refund season, they had a promotion where for about $400, you could get the box spring and the mattress. I had had it for about seven years and I thought it was in pretty decent condition. I tell you, you don't know till you know. And I wanted to get a mattress for at least double the value. So I was looking for something in the $800 range. So Big Lots was having a sale. You can tell I was going for the deals. I was set on picking up a firm mattress but I got in the store and I laid on a plush and I was like, whoa, wait a minute. So when I did a little research, I read that a plush mattress is for side sleepers and stomach sleepers and that is me. And I was just like, I think I need to get a plush mattress. And so I went with a plush and oh my goodness, ah, it is perfect. It hugs my curves. I wake up just revived. I love this mattress. When I tell you I get the best sleep. In fact, the first week I overslept. Like I was just marinating in the mattress. Oh, it just hugs me right and it's good and cool and it's just, ah, oh, the memory foam and the pillow top and the, I think it's Euro top and then the everything. Uh, you would think that I spent so much on this mattress. It is so worth it. And I mean, I used to discount how impactful a mattress is on getting a good night's rest. But I'm telling you, I get it now. I get it, your girl gets it now. Well, anyway, after all the discounts, I saved $281.60 from in-store promotions and discount codes that I had. And so the subtotal brought this mattress down from $799.99 to $518.39. So I did rent a truck to pick it up and I had a couple other things I needed a truck for. So as far as the truck rental goes, I picked it up from Home Depot and that amount came to $75.01. So my mattress was at a store about 12 miles away in Matthews, North Carolina. So I went to the Big Lots in Matthews and then I came home and dropped off my mattress. And then my mom met me here because my old bedding the whole entire bed that I had before, you know, footboard, headboard, the old mattress, box spring, all of that stuff was going over to my mom's. So we went to her house to drop off the furniture there. And then I went to Big Lots again. Now, y'all remember me telling you that the box spring that I had before was a little too tall. I thought, well, maybe if I get a low profile, it'll work. I bought a low profile one at a Big Lots close to me. They didn't have it at the Big Lots at Matthews. Brought it home, decided I didn't like it. Took that back to the store <laughs> and then returned the truck. Again, that was $75.01 and it was every bit of worth it because within a few hours, I was able to get several things done. Now, in order to purchase my bed, I told you that the subtotal was $518.39. Rakuten had a promotion where if I got a gift card for Big Lots, I could save 6% cash back. The highest limit on the gift card was $500. So I picked up two. I picked up one for $500 and another for $55.97. That was the $518.39 plus tax. I got back $33.36 via Rakuten. That came to me around mid-May. And so the mattress itself cost $555.97. If I take away that $33.36 from Rakuten, then I spent $522.61 on the mattress with the truck that came to approximately $600. Worth every penny, child. Worth every penny. Before I had a TV stand in here and it was like black and gray. 
Uh, and I didn't even use it for my TV. I use it for accessories, decorations, uh, my speaker system, things like that. Um, and it didn't go with the decor because it was black and gray. So I replaced that with this one that I got on Amazon. I received it in the mail, put it together really easily. It fits perfectly in this space uh, in more ways than one. And it cost me $97.68, but I used my Vitality Bucks through my employer to redeem for some of that. And I only ended up spending $20.18 out of pocket. So now I will give you a little tour to share some of the accessories that I picked up before moving on to that side of the room, if you see back there. And also before sharing the news with you of what's going on and why things are moving around. First up, I found this stool and ottoman at Ross. It was about $30. It's, I mean, it fits in so well. Let me get up close and personal with it. I mean, it's just, look, it's gorgeous. I love it. Look at the top there. Mm -hmm. So pretty, <laughs> $30. There's my keyboard. Now over to my TV stand here. Well, this rug here, I um, had that rug before. And here, my TV stand. So this is what it looks like sitting down on the bed <laughs> okay um i got this candle from at home i want to say i've had that this is one of my speakers this golden charger um it's like a flimsy placemat got it from the dollar tree and some flowers and shells i picked up along the way this vase i want to say i got it from hobby lobby love the color this like amber color and then I just love the look of cotton and decided to put a few stems of cotton in there. Got that from Amazon. Pick this vase up or holder, I guess maybe a candle holder. Whenever I picked up the, uh, the sheet set uh, many moons ago, saw this at Big Lots. Went ahead and picked that up. I mean, I think that just says it all. Mmm, so pretty. All right, of course, I've already talked about the TV stand. Now under here, I have just like candles galore, honey. Just candles galore, some of my favorite movies and DVD player under there. Don't really use that as much anymore. I got this piece, this wooden piece from Amazon. I love it, I just love it. Um, I mean, it's wood and it's thick. It just reminds me, of, okay, okay. Uh, let's see. So that is my TV stand here. This basket is what I use whenever my um, pillows aren't on my bed. So normally they're stacked in there whenever they aren't strewn across the bed. And now onto my mirror. Let me throw on my slippers here. Hey, so here is my mirror. I picked it up <laughs> from uh, Walmart. Uh, a good while ago and it's perfect and beautiful nice okay there's my lovely window and then on to my nightstand and here I've had this lamp for quite a while I just got a new new sh a new mm, I just got a new lampshade another candle and then here I picked this vase up, I wanna say from Hobby Lobby. I think yes, from Hobby Lobby. And I am rooting plants in there. Around my birthday, I picked up this magazine and in there they had these clear jars where they were rooting plants. And I said, I have plenty of plants around here that can be rooted. Let me see if I can get you a close up. And so these were clippings that I put in here uh, maybe like a month or two back. I kind of need to clean that water, but I will actually, I'll take these out and put them with the mother plant and get some more cuttings and root them. And it's a good way, a beautiful way, I think too, to multiply plants. But then also I get to see the roots, which I really like to see that. I like to see the growth and um, how I am making things grow. <laughs> so here 
is a vase I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Let me see if I close this shade, if you can see more of it. I don't know if that helped, but anyway, I picked this up from Hobby Lobby. It's super cute. It has these little cracks on it. Hopefully you can see, yeah, just how nice that looks up close and personal. And then this pompous grass I got from Amazon and one of my plants likes to lean against it and it's flowering, gorgeous. Now onto my beautiful, beautiful bed. So here is the headboard in all its glory. Just nice, look at that. And all of my pillows and things. Let's straighten you out, little throw. And there she is, footboard. And so those are those metal feet I told you about. Okay, and so this bedding, most of the linens I had had. So this um, comforter set I've had for a while and um, love on the other side is a different pattern, super cute. And so as far as these pillows go, I did buy myself a new contour neck pillow. You can kind of see under there. Um, it really helps support my neck and give me a good night's rest. And then these two pillows here, let's see, this one, that one, I picked up in a two pack at Big Lots, I wanna say. The one in the back at home, I think. And then the three in the front came with the comforter set when I picked it up way back when. So that's what that looks like. I'm almost as close to the back of this wall as I can get. And then this throw is one of my later purchases and it's really nice and velvety nice. Yeah, picked that up from Aldi. So I got that for about $20. And it's a full like queen size blanket. I um, adore it, I love it. It feels so good. Okay, so over here, oh, just really quickly, most of the wall hangings I'd had before. So this I'd had in my room from before. And then that, the Live, Laugh, Love was already in here. Um, oh yeah, I'll have to show you that over there. But this is my um, Life is a Journey. Picked that up when I picked up the comforter. And then this, my faux succulent. Give it some shine. It matches, I've had that for a while. Okay, and then over here I picked up this artwork from Etsy printed it off, had to tailor a little bit for this size frame. But can you guess what that is? Leave it in the comments. All right, so back over to this side of the room. I just, y'all already see, I just, my room. Okay, here, I picked up this little lantern here at Ikea for cheap, I think maybe a couple dollars. You can put a tea light in there and light it up. It's really cute, this Explore. Also picked this up whenever I picked up the bedding some time ago. Now onto one of my favorite pieces, one of my new favorite pieces. It would be this recliner. Oh my goodness, and behind it, this lamp. So right here in the corner of my room, beside my bed, I have this new recliner. <laughs> I found this recliner on Amazon and um, it came in a big old box and just a handful of pieces, a couple pieces. I was able to put it together pretty easily and found this perfect corner for it. I mean, it's, yes, it looks so good over here. And again, it reclines. Let me show you without this on here that it has the button detail. Ooh, mm-hmm. Yeah, so look at that. It cost uh, $337.16, just in case you're wondering. I, I love to kick back in it. Love to kick up my feet, read a book, watch some television, chat on the phone. I love meditating in this chair. It's just, 
I mean, it's one of my favorite pieces in the house. Now this throw, this throw came with the bedding. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Yep. So the throw came with the bedding way back when. And then this little pillow, this little button of a pillow. Mm. Got it from at home. Saw it and love it. When I tell y'all, I love this pillow so much. It's so crazy how much you can just adore a piece. But I do. It's just simple and cute. I snuggle with it. I like to prop my book on it when I'm reading. I mean, it's, it's just a great little pillow all around. And it looks awesome in the space. All right. The lamp back here has a few settings. So it has like three settings. It has this frosted glass and I picked it up from Amazon. Um, I picked up a few actually from Amazon and decided on this one. I like the style of this one. I think the gold is a little, I don't love it. I really like it. I even thought about maybe spray painting it when I found like a spray paint that I felt fit better. But otherwise, this is a really, really nice lamp. Kind of goes back there and has that frosted shade and it's just perfect for this corner over the recliner. Right beside it here, I picked up this storage bin from Big Lots and I haven't used it as much. Sometimes I'll throw books in there. I don't like to throw throws in there since it's so close to the floor, but I think I could find a better use for it. If you have any ideas, let me know. And this basket, mm, honey. So I picked up this basket from World Market and I'm using it as a waste basket. I bought these clear liners from Amazon and I just think it's just such a beautiful little basket. So let me take out this liner so you can really see it. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? I just, mm-hmm, it's just so gorgeous. I love it. And I think they had like one a bit bigger, but this is the smaller one and it's so cute. I also picked up this TV stand recently. Some type of laminate on the top, not like a solid wood, but I like it. I keep it folded up and slid under the bed out of sight, but I like to bring it out. Of course, when I'm eating, anytime I eat in here, which I try not to do a whole lot of with the lighter carpet, but I bring it out whenever I need to work on anything. I need something to write on or place my laptop on, as you can see here. It's just really nice. I wanna say I picked it up from Ross for about $20 and it fits right in. So you know I couldn't get out of here without talking about this. My wall mural. If you remember before, I had a vision board there. I took it down, it was getting old. And I gone to Hobby Lobby and picked up a few paintings to do like a collage wall or a gallery wall but I only liked what I picked up. I didn't love it. Plus I had already done a gallery wall in my living room. And when I say done, it's actually not done yet, <laughs> but I already had it there. So I didn't really want another one in here. And I knew I wanted something big up there. Like I wanted something creative. Well, I was on Amazon, I was shopping for this dress and I clicked on one of the video reviews. And behind this young lady was this wall with these big prints. And I think there were even hats on it or what. I said, what is that behind her? Is that a wallpaper? What is that? That's what I want on my wall. So after searching and searching, I found some expensive options, but then I found some other options on Amazon and they were these wall stickers that should be removable. <laughs> and I bought several of them. I bought several packs. I wanna say maybe like 10 packs. I needed to make sure, I needed to get them here. They were free returns, I'm prime. But I needed to get them here in the space and make sure like the burgundy worked, the clay worked, whatever worked, because I didn't wanna just settle on something and it just not be the right color. So I bought several of them, rolled them out, and took a look at them in the space with my other items in the room. So once I figured out which ones matched the best, I returned the others. I laid them out and figured out how I wanted them placed on the wall. I actually took some masking tape and taped them on the wall first before securing them. And once I was okay with the design, I went ahead and removed that backing 
and apply them to the wall and OMG. This wall, oh, you already know how I feel about it. <laughs> I roll over in the morning and I see flowers, flowers everywhere, it's heaven. They cost about $40 per pack of stickers. I think I purchased two or three. I know for sure I purchased two, but I think a couple of these came from a, a different pack. So that might've been my third pack. I can't quite remember, but they were $40 a pack. Really easy to apply and um, pull up and restick if, if you need to do that, which I needed to do that. And yes, my room. My room is one of my favorite places. The redesigning of this space has been therapeutic for me. It's actually like spilled over into other areas of my life and of my home that I wanna redesign. Uh, it's just made such a big difference for me to create this serene, beautiful place of things I appreciate and love to look at and just take in. I'm in love, but now I'm moving. So I told you before, I'm getting a roommate and that would be my mom. My mom is moving in here actually next weekend and I'm giving her my bedroom to live in and I'm moving upstairs. So my mom, she's moving out of her home. Uh, she lived there with my stepfather for a number of years. They purchased the home together, lived there together. And um, she has tried to live there uh, herself for over two years. Um, at one point my cousin moved in and she's just, she doesn't want to live there anymore and that's totally understandable. She also has stairs, so she has a two-story home. She also has stairs in the home and you know, she's kind of over walking up and down those stairs. So again, I am giving her my bedroom. I am moving everything upstairs so that she can come move in with me for a number of months. That's the plan initially for her to move in for about six months and then she's going to go rent a ranch style home somewhere. That's the plan. I will be moving all of this, well, most of this upstairs. It also makes more sense for me to move upstairs, um, not only because of my stairs, the stairs in my home. I have a one and a half story home, but also because a lot of my things are upstairs. So my office is up there, my recording space is there, um, the bathroom is up there, there's a loft, which is no longer a loft. I'll get to that upstairs and uh, with her living down here and me upstairs, it just makes more sense. Uh, we'll kind of not really get in each other's way as much um, if you know I was down here and, and working upstairs and she was upstairs living upstairs, we would just really kind of bump into each other a bit more. So it just makes more sense for her to live down here and I move upstairs. My choice, by the way. So the decluttering is on hold in a sense and it's go time. I have moved everything out of that spare bedroom or what was sort of like my junk bedroom into the loft. So like I told you, the loft is no longer the loft. No sitting and watching and moving around in there. There's stuff in there. I had someone paint and kill the green color that was in there. I don't know if you remember when I was recording in there and it was like behind me, but we had to kill that green color and paint that room a color similar to this room because I love this room so much and I wanted to take some of this up there. So my room upstairs is painted a color something like this room. I purchased a rug to cover up the flooring that my cousin messed up when she stayed here and that's a story for another day. And I'm about to break things down as soon as like within the next couple hours to move all of this upstairs. This is gonna be fun, right? Well, that's it fam. This is my new bedroom and what I can check off of my yearly goals list because that was one of my yearly goals to make over my bedroom. And you already know how I feel about it. I wanted to get it done before my 40th birthday was able to get that done. My birthday was at the end of February, like I said before. I was able to get it done and I've been enjoying it ever since and I will enjoy it upstairs. So that is it. Let me know what you think. And let me know if you have any redecorating, any renovating, any home improvement coming up. Let me know below. Thanks so much for tuning in. I love you. I'll see you next time. So remember, so remember my bed is broken. Why are you starting up? Mmm. 
What? Fans off. So remember, my bed is broken. So, and the train. So you know I cannot leave out. So you know I couldn't get out of here without talking about. So you know I couldn't, get actually next weekend, and I'm giving her. Okay, I'm done with it. I'm done with the clinks. Thank you, but no thank you. Yay! Okay.